You could just use your cottage cheese as a workout. Ooh. Low fat, you could eat it at the same time. Yeah. Dip. Yeah. You know? Dip. No, I take a bite, lift. Get in that bite, bikini body. Bikini body. <laughs> send us things yes. that are like, hey, you should try this, or this is weird, this came from this place. Today's <laughs> recipe came from Heather, who has a YouTube show with her family called Going Batty. Heather Going Batty. Woo, we love you. And so she uh, DM'd us this recipe. Um, it's really cute. It's it's on a card that says Grandma. Just says Grandma at the top. Yeah, it's so it's really from her funny. mother-in-law. But today <laughs> we are making... We're going to make... Cottage cheese roast. roast. We're gonna <laughs> roast it like a meatloaf. I th we're thinking this is kind of like a meatloaf. Um, we're also thinking this is like a lean times, like right. You're you're falling on hard times. <laughs> These, you need to feed your your family something, but you can't afford the ground beef. These are the only things in your pantry. So Just instead, throw, you you go with cottage cheese. Throw it together and put it in right. A, Right, we have no idea. This is this is We're gonna to me speculate. this is heinous. That's, yeah, we both love cottage cheese. I do so much. I love it with salt and but just like wait till you see. What but I don't know that I'm gonna like this. No. <laughs> All right, let okay, me what do tell we need? you what is in this cottage cheese roast. Let's do it. Sixteen ounces of cottage cheese. All right, now Stephanie. I bought the big. Bought the big one just in case. Just we, in case. Just in case we didn't have enough. It's a crown of cottage it cheese. It is. I. You need four eggs beaten. Egg those little eggs. Ah. You need a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Okay. <laughs> you need one envelope of onion soup mix. Of course you do. And onion soup mix. Lipton came on the scene in 1954, so that's why we're saying mid-century. Yeah. But you're going to need something to bind this together. So you're oh, going to need one one to two cups of cornflakes or Special K. I like that you went for Special K. Well, because because <laughs> it's going to be my pantry, and I don't like to eat cornflakes, but I do like to eat Special K. Well. I will eat this after... For breakfast, when we're all done, you can eat special K and cottage cheese. I would do that. Yeah, you would. A little honey on top. Hey. And then you're gonna need half a cup of chopped onion that you're gonna brown. Excuse me on the on the stove top. And, oh, and then and hold on, where was that last thing? Oh, one cup of ch finely chopped walnuts. I don't know. Do you remember the nut loaf? Mm -hmm. Do you remember the nut loaf? My tummy remembers yeah. it. So I'm not excited that we have. I'm not sure what this is adding to any of this. I just think it's protein, right? Like walnuts have a bunch of protein. You can't have enough protein. And then you're gonna put it in a <laughs> loaf and bake it for an hour in a moderate oven. An hour? Why do you have to bake this for an hour? No. I don't know. I don't one know. hour? That's what she. That's what Grandma says. Grandma. So let's make it and then eat it. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. You said wanna. you were game. I did, but now I don't wanna. Chopping up, do you need the scissors? I don't know. <laughs> I got our two cups of cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna combine these eggs, four eggs. Special K. I like Special K. Do you like? You know what I read? I heard somebody say somewhere that um, the Queen of England eats Special K every morning. Oh, really? That's what I, I heard. I don't know if it's true, but huh. that's what my sources tell me. I mean, I'm all right. I mean, I'm probably indifferent to Special K. That's fine. I like, like cornflakes. You do? I do, I do. Not. I do not. I like me a cornflake. I like Chex. Ooh, yeah. Chex yep. mix. But I don't like the wheat ones. Chris, no. Corn. Corn, corn checks. checks. Corn or rice. Crispix? Do you like Crispix? Oh, I do like Crispix. I like cereal. I love a Frosted Flake. You Not gonna do? Lie. I do. I love a Frosted See, Flake. I don't like Frosted Flakes because I feel like they get too soggy too fast. I love it. I love that milk it comes off of it. Mm, sweet milk. The sweet, sweet cereal milk. You know, there's a mm. Christina Tosi in uh, uh, 
New York, used to work for Mama Fuku. She has a whole cereal milk bar, oh. like where you have all cereal milk. Well, and she yeah. makes ice cream out of it. Yeah. Look at what we got so far. <gasps> oh, that smells good, y'all. Yeah, brown those, those uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these walnuts in. All right, we're gonna add that. Maybe this will look like meatloaf. Thanks for remembering that. That's cool. Oh. Now you're definitely gonna need it. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna need some more special K. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, yum. Get all that brown, yummy Those goodness. Yummy brown. It smells good, but I think it's just a false sense of security. Like, <laughs> 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 I've browned onions and butter, so it should be okay. <laughs> Here. Here's what our mixture looks like. What's it even smell like? That soup mix. Oh God, it's weird. Okay, so we're gonna mold this up in our, we should probably spray that, don't you? Right, think? I think we should spray it. We're gonna bake it for an hour and then we'll come back at you. Cheese roast in a in the. It area. doesn't smell that bad. It looks weird. It just smells of of uh, grilled onions. Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and I remember this is the grandma. This is grandma. Grandma's recipe right there. Whoever grandma that is. So we did this for an hour. It it does. Oh dear, it does. It looks okay. like a meatloaf. It does. Okay, you Show guys our friends. See it looks yes, like it a is. meatloaf. I mean, it does. It just looks like a meatloaf. Like, it smells we brought, onion. We brought out the ketchup because we felt like this was going to need a little something. So, okay, well, let's just dig in. So I can see having this with a side of mashed potatoes. Oh, definitely. Some, uh, some uh, roasted broccoli. Oh. oh, it's very mushy. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Salty. Is that that? It's salty. I've got some onion skin. It's very salty from that Lipton onion soup. Oh yeah. Soup. But it um, does kind of taste like meatloaf. But every but I'm there's a lot of crunch from the walnuts. Yeah, the um, walnuts are making me feel weird. I'm sure I with some catsup. I guess you could fool your family with this. It's actually not that bad. I mean, try it with. Did you try it with that? No, not yet. It tastes like meatloaf. Does it taste like meatloaf? Yes. Oh my gosh, it does. This is bizarre. The walnuts are kind of, I could, I think I could live without the walnuts. Well, I think I probably needed to go fight her on them. Maybe because so. Maybe even, even smaller. You, you did pretty fine. I do. But maybe even a smaller mm -hmm. dice, maybe even a, even a food processor. Yep. Situation. Mm-hmm. I'm speechless. I, I really am. am. Too. I just keep taking bites because I think maybe the next bite's going to be wrong. The next bite's gonna be wrong. Right. Because that bite wasn't, but the next bite, it is very salty. Okay, let's just spitball this here. What? Could you do that like like a meatloaf and not put it in the loaf pan? Mm. Do you think you could do that? I don't know. I don't think it hold together as much. No, I don't. Well, this was crazy. This was crazy, is what this was. All right. <laughs> Heather at <clears throat> Going Batty. Heather! I challenge you to try this with your for your family. Your grandma or your mother-in-law or whoever it was. They uh they were right. This is this is this is dinner. This is dinner. 
This is Meatless Monday, y'all. Meatless Monday. We'll put the recipe down below in case you actually want to make it. You could fool your entire family with this thing. For you sure. You could, de like, April Fools oh. say, we're having meatloaf. Uh-huh. Here Put it that is. There. And they would eat it, and they would never know. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Check out our Patreon page. The link is down below. Like us on Facebook and Instagram, and share with your friends, and, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, yeah. and find these really weird things that work for some unknown reason.